Today, we are going to work on my trailer. It is a six foot by 12 foot. We have a tongue mounted toolbox. We have a wheel for the trailer jack, gloss black tractor paint, and I have a Amazon LED tail light kit. And the only thing that I've done to the trailer is I got these hooks off of Amazon and I have them just throughout the trailer in the locations uh, that I feel like work the best and i feel like i'm going to order another one of these kits and just put them in different random spots because it's just to help out uh when we're loading up the atvs so it doesn't matter whether we put them sideways or bumper to butt we have enough mountain points to mount everything down so i'm going to take my little electric power washer and we're going to get it cleaned up because it's a little bit dirty and after i get it power washed uh i'm going to move to getting the tongue box mounted figure out what the holes are going to be get those drilled and then i'm going to take the trailer jack because the tongue box comes up above this point right here i'm going to take the trailer jack use my cutting disc going to cut it and then mount it right here in the front and when i get it off uh, i should be able to just cut those wheels off and then slide that wheel on with the pin and we should be good to go and that will make it easier on me to move the trailer around so once i get this dirty joker uh cleaned up a little bit i will be back It is the next day uh, my batteries on my drill kept dying so I need to come out here and drill these four holes out for it the deck looks a whole lot better than what it did before but what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna take my drill and my wire wheel and I'm gonna start hitting up these bad rust spots and then cover them with some rust-oleum self-etching primer and then uh, once that's done we're going to start rolling this paint on and hopefully it doesn't rain. I got the paint. The instruction said don't add any thinner to it. I have a foam roller paint and let's go. I said I was gonna do two coats, but it's probably just gonna be one coat because this stuff is thick and I don't think two coats is needed. 
So right now it's 8.45 and you can kind of see what it looks like. But I basically did one good coat on everything. I got the insides. I think I got all the upright supports and everything. I even got under uh, the tongue on the other side. But anything I saw that kind of looked that I could see like terrible. Like even like the the, the cross sports, I did just the edge, but not like the front and back, just to kind of give it the appearance. But it looks pretty good. Uh, in some of the spots, you can see the pinstripe, but I'm going to just pinstripe right over top of that pinstripe uh, with the teal pinstripe, the same pinstripe I have on my car. But I tried to make sure I got the nooks and crannies and everything, so everything kind of looks fresh. I even did the underside as well. So the only thing I need to do tomorrow is the tailgate. But man, this floor really looks good now, now that the trailer is like painted. So I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the floor. Uh, I'll figure that out at some point or another. It's not supposed to rain for the next like 10 days. So it gives me some time to kind of figure out what I'm gonna do. I might end up doing the gas and diesel. Uh, or maybe I'll just buy some stain, put it in my spray and just spray it. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It is the next day. The trailer looks good. Uh, we have a couple of small areas we need to touch up on. Like stuff like this. So like up top. I need to do a little touch up on there. Pretty much about all of them. Needs to be touched up. And then of course like places that I couldn't get to yesterday. Because I was painting like under the lock. Because it was down. So lift that up. I need to touch all that up and then I probably need to just kind of go back a little bit further on that so that like when you look at it from an angle it should be fine but other than that and I might touch up like inside the pockets but other than that everything looks solid so today I'm going to just do the tailgate so I started doing this section right here so I need to do the rest of the front but before I do that, I'm going to do the back because I need to just do the inside. Oh, I missed this. So I need to get that because I missed that side. Did I miss any more? So I need to do this one here because I missed that. But I got the rest of them. And then I need to do the grates because I did the back side and this looks good. So I need to do the rest of these. So I'm going to start off by doing that. Getting those. And then I'll just get like a piece of wood, lay this down flat. And then roll the this side right here. So the tailgate is done nice and fresh on both sides the trailer is looking good i went back through and i did a couple of a uh, little bit more touch-ups and everything but i mean it's it's looking good it looks like it is about to rain but hopefully it does not because the weather forecast says that it, it is not so i'm going to trust that which i probably shouldn't but we are going to stain the deck i'm doing this now because we're going riding this weekend and it takes 25 hours to cure so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. But I'm just using Thompson's Water Seal Clear. Because it was cheap. It was like $22 for a gallon. I'm going to pour it. Probably not the best idea. But I'm going to pour it in the same container that I did the, um, the trailer tractor paint on. It's dry for the most part. But you got one big spot right here that's still soft. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. So I'm going to pour some in here. Put y'all in the time lapse. Instructions say that just one coat should be fine. So hopefully this won't take too long and hopefully it at least set up a little bit if it does start to rain, which I hope it does not.
I know it's not starting to rain. I know it's not starting to rain. It's starting to rain. It is raining. It is raining. It is raining. <sighs> of course, it is raining. Of course. So the instructions say to let that sit for 48 hours. That's not a problem. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go get uh, the trailer box. Go ahead and get that on. And if it doesn't rain, I'll go ahead and start the uh, the pinstriping. And after doing my 6x12 trailer, I still have like a, maybe a little bit less than half a gallon. And the box is secured, and I can pick the trailer up. <clears throat> this bad boy ain't going nowhere. So this would be good mostly for ratchet straps and gas tanks. This would be what this modular would be used for in my case. Uh, I'm going to go program the lock for this and get that done, and I'll be back. But yeah, I like that. Looking like a proper trailer. And this is why I had to move the jack from that bar uh, to where it should have been mounted in the first place. It's because it couldn't have stayed there. So we got the wiring, the new trailing wiring out here. So according to the diagram, so green and brown to the passenger side, yellow and brown going to the driver's side. I don't know if y'all can see, but I did do the pin striping on the trailer. Around the arch, it looks terrible, but whatever. I don't know why it looks sky blue. It doesn't look green at all on the camera. But, of course, on the driver's side, make sure that you have, well, at least in the United States, make sure you have the light, the tail light with the license plate light on the driver's side. Um, this light that they sent, I'm going to just put it right in the middle, kind of low and then just run the wiring off to one side or the other. And then of course, the other tail light, oh no, is here. And I made sure beforehand that it does actually fit in the holes. And this one has three slotted holes, so I guess it fits all sorts of lights. So one thing I did, because I have a pretty high IQ is that inside of this trailer it has like little paths for lights to run so what I did was that instead of pulling all the, all the wiring out I left the wiring in so that I can attach the new wiring to it and then just pull it through the channel that's right here on the tongue
that that flashes. So I may switch one of the wires around. I don't want that light to flash. And there we have it. I don't have a mic plugged in, so I don't know how that sounds, but you know, basically a refurbished trailer. Painted, deck clean and stained, new wiring, everything works. So basically a refurbished trailer. So thank y'all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Like, comment, everything I used will be in the video description. So like always, think, build, and most importantly, enjoy. Peace.